Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be storing away a new bunch of photo cards into this wide binder. So I have heard a lot about wide binders and one of my favorite K-pop YouTubers actually said that this wide binder was her favorite binder. Um, and so I decided to get one wide binder to try it out. And today we're going to be storing away some One Us OT6 photo card sets into this six pocket wide binder. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the wide binder and put away some of these sleeves that I've bought. So let's open up the wide binder. So this is the Beyond D wide binder. It's really clean on the outside. Let's open it up. Alright, so the binder is made up of polypropylene, um, same as the A5 binder, and then it says Beyond D here. It has some little symbols here, same as the regular Beyond D binder, and it's got this elastic and a little nook here where the elastic just goes like that. And then this is the side. I believe it's a little bit wider here as well compared to the A5 binder. And then that's the back. So yeah, if we take off the elastic like this, uh, we can open it up. It has six rings. And then I bought a couple of refills. So I got two packs of the photo card ones. That's 10 sleeves per pack, so 20 pages in total. Then I got one for film strips, because um, I do have a couple of film strips for one us. And then I also got one of the, I guess you could call them like square cards. I'm going to put a couple of the irregular size things in here. And then the last type that I got was this one where it's like cut in half. So I thought that would be good for postcards and things. Um, we'll see how everything fits. But yeah, let's go ahead and put these into the binder. Okay, so I have put those five packets of sleeves into the binder. And now that I just look at it like this, I think it actually might be just enough. Um, or maybe even a bit too much once I start putting the photo cards in. I think I might take out a couple of pages. Like, maybe I'll take out a couple of pages of the square one. Alright, so I took some of these sleeves out. And I think now it's much more reasonable. And I think we can start putting away some of the photo cards now. Um, I'll show you guys the sets that I have, and um, we'll go from there. So the first set, which is actually not complete, but I want it to be the first page. Um, so the first one is actually this Harry Potter set. So this was a fan sign uh, POB from Blood Moon era. So each of them is wearing like a different Harry Potter outfit, and I think it's so cute. Um, because I have been a Harry Potter fan since I was about eight years old or seven years old so seeing them wear harry potter outfits is just so amazing and it's like my worlds are colliding so currently i have a raven and a huanung but i'm hoping to get the other four as well i bought two from makari and they are arriving soon so i will just store these two away first so basically it's going to go like hyung line at the top and then maknae line down the bottom so raven is first And then Huanong is the second youngest, so he will go here. Um, for these sleeves, I also really like how the perforated bits just go up to here. So you can kind of like, if you can see, you can kind of bend the plastic down just a tiny bit. And then, but the photo card still stays perfectly in place, which is really good. So that is that for the Harry Potter set. I will have more later. And then I'll just put some fillers in for now. Okay, so that is the first page done. And now let's move on to the second page. 
I can already see that this binder is going to be one of my favorites because I love having sets of photo cards. I'm not going to collect every single OT6 set. I'm just going to collect the ones that I really, really like or the ones that are pretty easy to collect. So the next one definitely falls under the easy to collect category. And these are the Eden version photo cards. So I have both sets of them. This is the first one where they're holding fruit. And I would say this set is really easy to collect because I did a fan sign for Lido where I got a lot of the Eden version albums. And um, yeah, because I have a lot of those albums, um, I do have a lot of these photo cards as well. So we can look through them individually. And then I will also show you guys what they look like on a six pocket page. So that's what they look like. And then let's store these away. And this will be the first complete OT6 set in this binder. Okay, so that is the first set. Very, very satisfying. I'm very happy with how this looks. And this is definitely the perfect binder for if you have a five member group or a six member group, especially a six member group. I thought about doing this for Stacy before as well, but I'm not super into collecting six members for Stacy. But for one us, it is absolutely perfect. So the next set that we're going to do is also Malus Eden version, but this is the other set of photo cards. So this is the one where they're pulling their hair and kind of similar. It was really easy for me to collect because I did the fan sign for it. So I have many, many multiple versions, multiple copies of the same photo card. If you are interested in buying some of these, go check out my buy and sell Instagram. I have a lot of these. And then these ones are signed on the back, which is also really, really satisfying to see all of their signatures together, I think. So yeah, that's the next set. All right, so that is what they look like together. Very, very nice. It makes a lot of sense as well, I think, when you have the whole set of um, a whole group's photo cards. I think you can kind of see like what everyone was wearing, what the concept was, and I just think it's really, really nice. And the backs look beautiful as well. Okay, and the next set that I am going to do is I'm going to do another album photo card set for Malice as well. I'm going to have a lot of Malice, to be honest. Um, and this is the Poca version set. So for the Poca version, there was only one photo card per member. So again, this one was pretty easy to collect. And I do have a few dupes as well. And I really like this one because you can tell that they're all wearing the same outfit. And it's definitely, like, very obviously a set of photo cards. And the back is really pretty as well. So let's store these ones away. Okay, so that is the Poco version OT6 set. I also think it looks really good next to the signatures because you can kind of visually see whose is which signature. Beautiful, all matching outfits. I really, really liked Malus era as well. It was my first comeback as a fan with them. So definitely really special to me. So after this, I have two more sets, and the first set is a Halloween pre-order benefit for Malice. And so this one was actually my friend's fan sign, 
So she normally goes for the fan sign where you have kind of the really, really cute photo cards. So this is the Halloween uh, fan sign. And you can see that they're all wearing like really cute little berets or holding really cute little props. And when I show you guys the backs of these as well, you're going to think that they are so cute. So yeah, everyone's wearing kind of the headgear that matches them. So cute. So these are the Halloween POBs. And then the backs are this beautiful orange color. You can see that it's very Halloween themed because it's orange and it has some spider webs and some glitter. But yeah, the backs all look like this. And the really interesting memory I have about this set of POBs is my friend actually opened this group order when I was in Singapore. And I remember she was posting about this group order when I was waiting in the lobby of Marina Bay Sands Hotel, waiting for my friends to get there as well. And we were all going to go up to stay in Marina Bay Sands for one night. So while I was waiting for them, I was kind of organizing this group order and um, claiming my POVs for this group order. So yeah, very special to me. Um, let's throw these ones away. Alright, so that's what they look like as a set. I think it's kind of interesting that the Maknae line is all in front of this blue curtain. But Hyung Lion, I don't know what Raven is doing. Why is Raven in front of this brick wall? But Sodo is in front of the same background as well. So this is the OT6 set for Malice Halloween fan sign, the online version. And that is the back. Very, very pretty. And then the final set that I'm going to store away today is unfortunately an OT5 set. So this set was for my Everline fan sign, and it was um, maybe only a week after Raven's controversy where he decided to go on hiatus and then eventually decided to leave the group. Um, so this is a five person uh, photo card set, but I wanted to like put a Raven photo card there anyway, just so it kind of completes the six pocket page. But I'll show you the five person set first. So these were the cafe event um, outfits. So the outfits were from the cafe event, but the actual place that I got these photo cards from was from my Everline fan sign. So I really, really like these photo cards, especially Sodo. I like what they're wearing. And then the back, um, it has like their handwriting where they're writing like a proposal to you. That was the name of this photo card set. It was called the Propose version. And then to go along with this set, uh, I got a mutual who stopped collecting Raven and she gave me this photo card. And I just think that if you look at them side by side, he kind of does match the concept. This is from believe it's from Twilight so yeah it's a different era a different photo card but I do want to just put a raven here as well Alright, so that is what that set looks like. It is six photo cards, um, just to maintain the OT6 look. And then the back is like that. And I tried to pick a Raven photo card where both the front and the back matches a little bit. So this one, they're all kind of a blue color. And yeah, that is uh, what I'm going to store away today. I'll flip through it and show you guys first. But that is not the end of this video. I also am going to put a little clip of making a binder divider for this. So that is the first page, not complete yet. And just going to flip through. You see what it means um, 
by the fact that it's so satisfying to look at this OT6 sets. I think it's super, super satisfying. I know other people have like Ive binders, Stacy binders, um, Monster X binders. So any of these six member groups or has like six photo cards per set, I think these binders are really, really good. All right. So now I'm going to cut to just a couple of scenes of me um, making a cover for this and maybe a back as well. Um, it's going to be one second for you guys, but for me, I'll probably film it on a different day. Okay, so I have cut up a copy of the One Us Theatre album because I really like the concept of this. So firstly, I'm just choosing the photos that I'm going to be using for my dividers. Then I'm matching up the size to the divider and cutting it with a blade to size. So just doing that for a couple of different photos. And then next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together. And then I'm going to hole punch each of the pages. So I do this in a way where I can see the hole punch. So you can see I'm kind of doing it upside down. This is a really good way to make sure that all the holes line up. And yes, that is what the divider looks like. And I actually made two of them. So one for the front and one for the back. Alrighty, so we are back from that short interlude where I made these dividers. I think they are super, super pretty. I'm really happy with how they turned out and I really like how I got to use most of the OT6 photos. And these ones were cut from Life is Beautiful, the One Us uh, Theatre album, the really big album. And I really like how they flow as well, like this. So now I'm just going to put these away into the binder. They're going to be the end and the front of my binders. So let's open this up and we will open up the A5 binder. And then this is the beginning one. It's one of my favorite photos. So that is that. And then we can flip through to the very end. And the end divider will go here. And this one is the end one. And it's really cute. I feel like it's the end of a storybook almost. So that one will go there. And yeah, that's what it looks like. So now if we do a final flip through of this binder, I will also be decorating the front and the side later on, don't worry. Um, I might do that in a separate video or I might just do that off camera. So this is the front and then this is the back. And if we just have a look through the binder, got a couple of OT6 sets now. And this is everything that we did in this video. We just flip through to the very end and then one us at the very end. So yeah, that is the end of the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the start of my one us OT6 binder. Definitely, definitely recommend this wide binder to anyone who's interested in buying one. And that's the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.